What y'all say? Had the day done fine already together. What's up, y'all? It's me, Tori and Goddess, coming in with a quick message. Y'all already know what I'm coming to do. I'm coming to bring the actual factuals. Get you hip to what you hip to. A hip you want to what make you hit. You know, I know ain't nothing but love here. It's it's a spiritual game. Period. Point blank. I heard something about Nautica. Nautica. Somebody maybe sporting the boat. I like Nautica too. Or you could be about to get on a boat. Getting off a boat. Getting off a ship, a cruise or something. I don't know, but it's a it's um it's a project. I just heard give me a project. Mm. But it's a project too. It's some sort of enterprise effort, right? Somebody done lit a fire up under your ass. They want you to join a gang. Right? They want you to join a gang. It could be a literal gang. It could be a business. It could be a company. It could be a sorority, a fraternity. It could be a cult. It could be a friendship. It could be a partnership. It could be some romance. They want you to join their gang, though. Some sort of project. They could want you to go into business with them. I just heard something about a loan shark, too. Shipmates. Somebody got an anchor somewhere on their body. Tatted on them. An anchor. Somebody has a anchor on them. It's what's being offered. It's what's being offered. But I'm also hearing too, it's like it's taking too long for this enterprise this enterprise effort to come together. Somebody feels as if they're a little prideful as well. Have you consulted your spiritual team? That's what, that's what, that's probably why you know it's taking too long. You haven't prayed on it. You haven't prayed on it is what I'm hearing. Something is being transformed though because somebody's selling something to you. Somebody's selling something to you or you could be the one who wants somebody to join the gang gang. You could be the one who wants somebody to join the gang. Don't sleep. Don't sleep on, on what spirit is trying to tell you to. You got to pay attention. Yeah, you got to pay attention. Eight of Pentacles. That's where I cut it. Eight of Pentacles. Six of Air. Somebody got an anchor on them. But it's like they want you to settle. They want you to settle is what I'm hearing. This settling, a settler, settling, a settler, a settler. You know, that six of air talk about some traveling too, you know, and it's like going the distance, going the distance already. When, when I see this, uh, eight of, this, this eight of water. I feel like, really, though, that distance, though, has a lot to do with learning. You know, it's it's what's being avoided right now um, when it comes to this um, right now. Because somebody wants you to, somebody got an anchor. Somebody just wants you to be content and satisfied with a job being well done or something. You know what I'm saying? A job being well done off in the future when I look at that. You know, because spirit got me looking at that. It's like something is like it, it just don't seem right. You know, somebody is being superficial. So a lot of thoughts come to you in the midnight hours. Joker. Joker. It's Friday. It's Friday, Joker. It's Friday. It's a juggling act. And it's like whoever, you know, is trying to persuade you, it's 
it seems like something that's fresh, something that's new. I heard something about shipping and handling. <laughs> it's how they handling you too. This is it's a deal that's on the table. Look, it's a deal that's on the table. It's a deal that's on the table, but this deal on the table though, yo, it seemed like it's a good deal, right? If this message for you, it's for you. I mean, you tapped in. You tapped in for a reason. It's, 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 it's a lot of self-talk you've been having at night is what I'm hearing, you know, can, pertaining to, you know, somebody trying to get you to be okay with something. It's something that spirit trying to get you to remember. You under, you under, Do you understand what I'm hearing? And that's not to conform. <laughs> you got to do shit on your own terms. Let's see. Let's see what's good. What you want them to know? What do you want them to know? Because there's a deal on the table. I don't know what kind of deal this is, but with this ace of water that just fell out, this ace of water, love, never knew what I was missing, but I knew what's... <laughs> I hear you. No, I don't. I don't. Mm -hmm. Already. 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 Mm. 14. So, I'm hearing about what's, what has been avoided. What has been avoided. What, what's been avoided with this deal? Something has been avoided with this deal. Somebody wants you to settle right now, but with this patience card, you know, you got to take some slow steps. You got to take some slow steps. This seems like, you know, somebody wants to come into a relationship with you. Somebody, is, <laughs> they like, will you go with me? And they want you to go somewhere too. Will you go with me? Will you go with me? They want you to go with them. Now. Makes me think of an old saying me and my cousins had. Want you to do it now. They want you to do it now. And it's like they're going to serenade you or something like that. They're going to serenade you. You hear me? It's like they're, this this person feels like they've been patient. <laughs> they feel like they've been patient. You hear me? They feel like they've been patient and they want you to do it now. They need an answer now. This person feels like right now, right now, you need to be giving them an answer because they feel like harmony needs to be restored. So this deal is like a possibility of, you know, what's to happen. Um, this this person, too, I'm hearing when it comes to them feeling like they've been patient, they feel like them being patient that they've met their needs first, right? It has to do something with this six of air. They've met their needs. They've met their needs. This person, you know, feels like they've, they've done some work on themselves. This person has gone through some sort of transformation, some sort of ego death, you know, where they're not um, self-centered is what I'm hearing. And what's at the center I'm hearing is what's overflowing from their heart. Their heart chakra is in overdrive. And it's filled with thoughts of you, thoughts of you, these thoughts of you and, and unconditional love is, is, is what's hopeful for them um, or brings them some hope. You know, um, this person is recognizing, analyzing, and realizing that maybe it was them. They was the common denominator. It's visible in their world now is what I just heard. It's visible in their world now that, you know, a lot of the finger pointing in the, um, the blame game, yeah, the blame game is what I just heard. The blame game is some is some sort of blame. Um, and this person has been called um 
Yeah, this person has been cold. This person has been cold. This person might call you. You know, this person might call you. And I'm hearing this person might call you because it's something that's going on in their personal realm of being. It's something going on in their personal realm of being. Uh, it could also be some turbulence, you know, when it comes to y'all communication and you being able to shift and be aware uh, and, and trust um, the vibe that you catch it from this person because they calm. They trust in something at this, this present moment in time. It's something, you know, it's something that got to do with, um, it, it has a lot to do. It's, it's not just, you know, the love that they feel with this ace of water. This person is feeling like they need to run to you. This person is feeling like they need to run to you. Um, it's like spirit sending this person to come back to you. Come back to me. The universe has already um, thought about whatever was turbulent in, in the future. That's what I heard in the future. It's, it's a surprise for the future when it comes to this person. It's a surprise for the future when it comes to this person because I'm hearing this. <laughs> I'm hearing it's the lyrics. I, as I said, they're going to serenade you, and it makes me think of Jason's lyrics. It do. It makes me think of Jason's lyrics, the type of... They want, they want you to make a decision when they come to you because they're going to show up. They're going to show up, and they feel like it's a happy surprise for them because they are just giddy. They giddy, they giddy, they giddy, they giddy. Mm, mm, mm. I'm hearing something about a upgrade. A upgrade. I just heard, shower me with your love. Shower me with your love. This person is a is a type of person who um, you know, how they show affection. They 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 spool their mate rotten. They spoil their mate rotten is what I'm hearing. It's some sort of rite of passage this person has gone through when it comes to them developing a, a greater awareness of um, how they are in a relationship. This person feels as though that they didn't give it they all. They feel like they didn't give it they all. Not only that, this person feels like they're guilty of something, you know. This per I'm, I'm hearing something about abandonment. This person feels like they abandoned you. But I'm also hearing that, you know, slowly but surely, this person has a different spiritual awareness when it comes to y'all connection. I'm hearing this is a different very different, very different, abundant co-creative relationship. You guys have traveled through the darkest places and lit them up. You know what I'm hearing? Y'all lit them up. It's like this person is feeling some sort of optimism when it comes to bringing your dreams true. And they feel like while they're bringing your dreams true, you understand, you understand why they're bringing your dreams true, that they're going to be dr bringing their dreams true. It's something that they've been dreaming of doing. And with this patience card, I'm hearing, they, they look at you like an angel. They look at you like an angel. I just heard Anita Baker, you're my angel. Your angel's been looking out for you and this person. Your angel's been looking out for you in this person. Let's see what the energy seekers got to say. Let's see. Right now, this person is thinking about you. You know, I'm also hearing, too, that this person has gone through some, some tumultuous times when it comes to them settling. When it comes to them settling is what I heard. This person has been stalking you. It could feel like it's, you know, gang stalking too. And it's probably what they've been doing too because, you know, it's like they've been hiding themselves. This person can be using fake profiles and everything else. But, you know, I heard too, it's a lot that's haunting this person 
when it comes to thoughts of you. Mm -hmm. This this is um a deal, a deal. They want to make a deal. <laughs> Somebody want to make a deal. They want to make a deal. Oh, this just fell out. This just fell out. Stabbed. That fell out. That fell out. That fell out. Yeah, somebody's been stabbed in their back is what I'm hearing. Somebody's been stabbed in their back. Let me shuffle these again. Somebody been stabbed in their back. Somebody that they was patient with. They was trying to balance something out. Somebody been trying to balance something out with somebody. They been trying to balance out some energy, but I feel like everybody distant. Whoever it is, this person is, they've, they've been distant. You've been distant from them. Y'all could live in different um, neighborhoods. Y'all can live in different cities. Shit. Y'all can live in different states, but y'all been distant. Um, Something been burdening this person, and somebody been feeling like they've been seeing a ghost. Somebody feel like they've been seeing a ghost. Somebody feel like they've been seeing one of their ancestors. They feel like they tripping. I'm hearing what's been planned already for you concerning this person. Because this person has made some plans and I'm hearing something with this anchor. Somebody got an anchor on them. An anchor, an ankh, um, a ship, nautica. Somebody wearing nautica. Somebody got on one of the boats. Somebody got on one of the boats. Coffee time. Look at this. The G's don't lie. Y'all know it, though. The G's don't lie. Coffee time and planning a trip. They already made these plans. And look what's up right there. They already made these plans. You feel me? They they already made these plans. Mm -hmm. They already made those plans. 11-11. They heart is full of thoughts of you. Somebody about to surprise you with a cruise or a trip. You could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They said pick another one. Be careful, though. Somebody can't swim. Somebody can't swim, but somebody said they're going to be your protector. They're going to be your protector. <laughs> They say they're going to be your protector and whatever, it's whatever you want to do. It's whatever you want to do. They got a, they already picked out a pet name for you. I'm hearing, sorry, Miss Jackson. I am for real. Never meant to make your daughter cry. I'm, 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 I'm for real. I'm hearing that. So look. With this rite of passage somebody then went through, they they are paying attention to the cause and effect. You can have short hair. They're paying attention to the cause and effect, right? The cause of the demise of this connection with you. You hear me? The cause of this demise of this connection with you. You could be very dis defensive, right? You could be defensive. This defense can have you with your guards up. But I'm hearing, too, is it's something that should be jolting your memory. I heard, sorry, Miss Jackson, I am for real. Never meant to make your daughter cry. I apologize a trillion times. Somebody has been um, depressed as well. You know, with that song, they depressed because of how they um treated you. They treated you like they needed to inspect 
they need to inspect you. Like, they need to inspect you. Like, this person could have, you know, always been questioning something about you. You know, it was a question of whether or not they were going to be abundant with you. You know, somebody likes you in blonde hair, too. You got to be very discerning when it comes to this connection. It's something that they're trusting, though, and they've been patient enough, um, they feel. They said they've been patient enough that they feel that now is the time that they could reverse um, some damage that was done. It's like whatever you guys went through, you know, they feel like I'm hearing they feel like they discredited y'all connection. They discredited y'all connection is what I'm hearing. And they went somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? They went somewhere else and they thought that was the smart thing to do, but they weren't connected to their higher self at that present point in time. You hear me? They weren't. Um, and they've done a lot of work on themselves is what I'm hearing. This person has done a lot of work on themselves and... I feel like, too, um, whatever this tattoo is, this tattoo is, I heard something um, about um, some, this could be, like, happening this weekend, this person surprising you. Somebody wants to undo some shit because they feel like you severed ties with them because it was too many, you know, lessons to learn with them, which left you... Um, Switching lanes and shit, you know, you felt like you couldn't even, you know, confide in this person. You felt like you couldn't trust them, you know what I'm saying? But with this 11-11, I mean, you know, this is a, a new start. It could be a new relationship or you couldn't trust this type of person. You take out it resonate. This could be somebody from the past coming back to um, something about I'm hearing somebody's lights getting cut off. Somebody's lights getting cut off somebody got short hair they did you know they somebody got short hair i'm hearing too you know it they could be they could be having to prepare for something somebody's lights are out they could be having to prepare for um some sort of home inspection because i heard something about inspect right somebody feels like they gotta inspect you but you know Somebody could be a mother or it's, it's also something that's being manufactured, I'm hearing, you know, and it's, you know, something that's being manufactured. It's like something that's being built. Something that's being built is what I'm hearing. Something being built. Somebody could be a builder. Somebody could work in construction. Somebody's assembling something. Some type of component is what I'm hearing. But this component, I'm hearing, um, hmm. They're assembling something, but this component is it has something to do with some electricity. Um, somebody lying about tampering with with the um, turning some lights back on or something. An inspector coming out or something. Somebody getting their home inspected. Could be for pests or um, some mold or something, but it's like somebody ain't got got the money. It's is something going on with somebody's third eye? Something about a big house, too. A big house. And this trip. Something about a big house in this trip. And somebody wanting you to, and whoever this person is, I don't know, I keep seeing ta that tattoo or anchor. Or it could be this trip, you know what I'm saying, where y'all could be going on on a cruise or something, you know, this anchor could be, y'all could be sitting at the dock of the bay somewhere, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, what's in your best interest? This patience, you know, comes to, comes with love too. Comes with love, whether or not you being downgraded or whether or not you being upgraded, you know, it's not a question of whether or not you should forgive is you should keep your thoughts positive, though. You should keep your thoughts positive because you're manifesting. You're manifesting whether it's good or bad. But it's something that you've been... It's, it's someone possibly that you've been separated from. 
Y'all both done had issues. Y'all both done had some fucking issues is what I'm hearing when it comes to um relationships after one another with um somebody from the past. And then, you know, some of you, um, if there's a new person, Jesus saying no, no, no matter how tall, dark, and handsome they are, no matter how, you know, cute they are. But when it comes to these people coming back, everything happens for a reason is what I'm hearing. Everything happens for a reason, but you're going to have to be careful. You're going to have to be careful. You're going to have to know that, you know, especially when it comes to a mechanic is what I'm hearing. Pay attention, ladies, to what this mechanic is doing. You know, they be trying to throw some monkey wrenches off in the system so you can come back is what I'm hearing. Then somebody could be hooking up with a mechanic. A mechanic could be suicidal. It's, it's some shit that you need to um pay attention to because it's, it has something to do when it comes to discipline and you being connected to the divine. Mm-hmm. This patience and this moderation is like somebody going, I keep hearing somebody going through uh, rites of passage, you know, and they want to clean up something with you. They want to clear something up, you know, something that was amusing to them and, you know, concerning your relationship then or something that somebody could have been more exciting, you know, they chose over you. It's a path being cleared now where this person is in their own lane or a path has been cleared and this person wants to take care of you. This person wants to be your caretaker. This person um, is planning something. You know, this person is planning on um, run, running into you. But it's something about settling. It's about a decision that this person wants you to make. You know what I'm saying? That could affect your future. You know what I'm talking about? You got a lot of um, great memories with this person. But again, with tapping into your higher self, the universe has been helping to clear out a lot for you. Um, it's what's important to you mo- today that you've been meditating on that you may have been trying to manifest when it comes to this 11 11 and you understanding you know what um little leprechauns and little imps has been trying to steal your shine and your joy and the reason why you switch to um a different elixir somebody you know somebody is motivated by a different a different power you know what i'm saying a different power and it and i'm hearing you know it's is something that has inspired them and it's is spirituality, you know? It's spirituality. Um this person, you know, could have been counterfeit back in the day. You know, again, it was a lot of karmic lessons that they was going through. But then too, I'm hearing, you know, this could also be family who trying to come back, you know. It could be family that's trying to come back. But you know, the, the shit. The universe already help help to reveal parts of these family members I'm hearing, you know what I'm saying? Uh particularly the women uh, is what I'm hearing where you you know, you had to make some changes in order for you to be successful. You know, cuz it was affecting your health, you know, your mental health for one. Um and then you know, one of your female cousins too, they might uh go both ways, but somebody in a um a same sex relationship, they don't got to be a female though, but it, Shit, I'm seeing a lot of oranges. Somebody got an orange tree or somebody drinking some orange juice. Somebody got on orange or something like that. But it's um a change that you had to make, you know, with these relationships uh, that your guys encouraged you to do. But it's something now that, you know, this person intends to do, whether it's an ex, you know what I'm saying? Or whether or not, you know, this is somebody in your family, like that female cousin. But I'm, yeah, I'm seeing, look, shit. Seven is something that you need to be inspired about, especially with this eleven eleven, because a lot has been revealed when it comes to this ace of water and it's what uh, what is unconditional. It's you know I don't know how you feel about it, but it's it's something you know that's affecting um affecting your movements now, and and the reason being is this. It's because spirit got you sitting still. Spirit got you sitting still because um, the, the, 
It's something that you need to be recording in your memory bank is what I'm hearing, especially while you uh, meditating with this here. You know, that's when you tapped in and your higher self and you, you know, y'all chopping it all the way up. You, you know, you, you switch lanes for a reason, you know, and a lot of shit may be slow mo, but it's slow mo, you know, and everything is ha happening, you know, slow. I'm hearing like at a tortoise pace, but you know, you know, shit with that, with that one nursery rhyme with the rabbit and the turtle shit, that turtle win right because it's slow and and for sure what's coming to you right you, you could feel like you know you've been single for a long time but it's a deal that's on the table and shit and you don't you don't feel like you don't want to go the distance is what i'm hearing but the jesus saying somebody ain't gonna take you for granted even if it's you know some business um account um, that, that might be um, connected or some shit like that. It's, it's like somebody, you're going to have to read the fine print, though, if y'all going to have some joint accounts, though. But somebody is like, you know, what's being taxed is what I'm hearing as well. What's being taxed, yep. What's being taxed. See, you got a lot of good energy. And if you didn't know, yeah, this is you right here. You know, what you put out into this universe is what you get back with this 1111. So with your, with your, it's like the halo that's over your head. You know, a lot of people couldn't see it at one point in time. You understand what I'm hearing? But somebody recognizing, analyzing, and realizing this transformation that has taken place in you, and they like it. You understand? They like it. But... It's also, I see somebody in your family and shit, that could be a female cousin too, or it could be a masculine and they, fem and they feminine energy, you know, somebody who's trying to balance some shit out with you, trying to come back, you know, to Jesus saying, no, don't let them, don't let them do that, don't let them do that, because, you know, they trying to, somebody, somebody's, um, kinfolk, you know, that's, that's what they do, they, you know, they, they are part of the arts, but, you know, y'all split up in your family, it's some dark, and then some lights, just like light skin and dark skin is what I'm hearing. But, um, she somebody just got out. Somebody just got out too. And I don't know if it's the people on your father's side of the family or somebody who's just coming home from the pokey. You know what I'm saying? Cause look, I don't know, but you know, they, they've been practicing, you know, they've been practicing. Yeah. But it's something that's not matching with their energy and shit. When it comes to this practicing, um, good Glenda witch though, you understand what I'm hearing? It's not, it's something that's not, that wasn't matching their energy. It, and I heard wasn't, wasn't matching their energy. Somebody is recognizing, analyzing, and realizing that they pick um, um, a part of Satan's um, minions, one of Satan's uh, children and shit. And yeah, they did. They picked one of Satan's minions. Yep. Yep. Somebody, one of my black kings or queens and shit trying to come back. But then, you know, within this black family, you know, like I said, it's split up and shit. Yep. It's split up and shit. Somebody went through a lot of fucking um, abuse when it comes to a relationship. You know what I'm saying? And they didn't know that they, the person that they was linked to was conjuring up spirits against them. You know, somebody about to get the fuck out of jail too. They got to get out of jail free card. You know, they trying to bring some, some bullshit a little bit, you know, but they, they want a decision now, you know, it's like, they trying to rush you to do something. They trying to rush you to do something or somebody could be going to jail too. You know what I'm saying? And they don't even necessarily have to be a man, but you being an empath, I'm hearing, you know, you, you came to this earth already on a twin flame journey. If you didn't know, you came to this earth already with that soul contract, you know? You, you you came here with that soul contract. Um, been patient, though. Like, who you make for me, most high? Who you make for me? Diamonds are a girl's best friend. Somebody been trying to, you know, stop this connection, too. Somebody been trying to stop this connection. They have. They've been trying to stop this connection. But the connection between you and your your twin, ooh, my ears just went bingly bing, like I'm in a plane or something, like I'm in a plane or something, my ears just went blingly bling, your vibration, you know, the vibration that you sending out, I'm hearing is calling in, your twin, y'all be talking directly to one another, y'all, y'all energy are so, is, is, is so strong, you know what I'm saying, both of y'all are empaths too, very empathetic, both of y'all, um, you know, it's something personal between y'all that y'all can relate to right now. It's it's something that you need to understand. You know what I'm saying? And you can't you can't look outside for it neither. You can't look outside for it. You ain't gonna find it unless you stepping off on some earth, unless you stepping off in the dirt trying to um get it out the mud and ground yourself is what I'm hearing. Somebody been digging up on you too. You hear me? Somebody been digging up on you. Somebody been you know searching you. 
been searching you, been Googling you and shit. Somebody, um, could be somebody at this daycare service too, is what I'm hearing. But lit, yep, somebody at this daycare service, somebody own a daycare too. Somebody own a daycare. Somebody owns a daycare. But also, I'm hearing that could be somebody's child. Somebody, somebody's in early child development classes or something too, is what I'm hearing. Look, Spirit sending in this type of commitment for you. You ready? This person ready as well. Whether this is a new person or or, or somebody that you already was linked to, and y'all had some fucked up ass energy, you know, towards the end, and that was because somebody was motherfucking instigating that shit. Is what the Jesus saying? It could could have been a female in your family, could have been a female in their family that was on drugs and shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, but they already got some plans, and they gonna expect for you to um make a decision. Right then and there, this person can stress you out a little bit because they're they're anointed with a different energy and it's it's kind of gonna be like a, a little infectious is what I'm hearing. It's gonna be kind of like a little infectious. This person has gray hair. Look, I was gonna say that too. It's been a while since you've seen them. The last time you've seen them, they ain't have all that gray hair. Is what the Jesus is saying. So rainbows. Rainbows makes me think of same-sex relationships as well. It's all being revealed. It's something that you need to reflect on that's that's not um, matching history, though. You know what I'm saying? Just not ma matching history. If this isn't you and your twin flame, you know what I'm saying? This is somebody who's in both of y'all energy who um, is going through some shit. Going through some shit. They are. They going through some shit. And your spiritual team at the highest point of positivity with them. And they going through some shit because they are, they are part of um, the separation for those of you who have been separated from your twin. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. And those of you who have yet to meet your twin, your Jesus is at the highest point of positivity right now. You understand what I'm hearing? And it's, it's all because, you know, they, 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 they did a lot to affect your, your, um, your memory your intuition, your discernment when it comes to this connection, when it comes to this connection and you following the yellow brick road or following the music. It's going to be a lot of music. Somebody got to move to. You about to be put on notice. They about to be put on notice. If it ain't you, I'm hoping it ain't y'all. Man, I hope y'all ain't going through that. Been here, done that. Um, not no evictions, but having to move and shit. Um, yeah, if it ain't you or somebody in your energy, they about to have to move. So listen, um, it's something that's been activated with this person, and you can be thinking about you can be thinking about this person. You can be thinking about reestablishing a relationship, or if you if you're not knowing who your twin is and you've yet to meet them, you're about to, and you probably like I don't even know if I want to be in a relationship, but I mean somebody is seeking seeking out. Um, was good. <laughs> Somebody seeking out was good. Somebody went through some karma. I'm talking about it was it was bad karma too. It was bad karma. And and somebody fake and their memory is false. Their memory is false as hell. They put you through a they put you on a shit brick road away from your twin. Yep. They put you on a shit brick road away from your twin. Mm-hmm. Somebody house nasty. Somebody, um, damn, somebody, I'm hearing somebody, um, doesn't have great hygiene and then somebody's going to see a mechanic as well. Somebody could be dating a mechanic too. Um, somebody tall, dark and sexier than a mug. But look, Libra energy, somebody seeking justice, somebody seeking justice and they want this justice to be well known. They, but they coming in because they. They're looking at you now as their equal. Yep. They're looking at you now as their equal. Somebody tried to um, alter their memory too. Somebody tried to mess with their intuition. Somebody, um, it's like somebody was lighting sparkling flames and up in their brain and shit. You know what I'm saying? Sparkling flames up in their brain is what I'm hearing. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, Listen. This lake men a time to this scattered energy. Somebody is in a motorcycle club. I'm hearing this could be somebody that you might want to flip on. 
somebody that you might want to flip on, somebody on a bike, somebody on a motorcycle that you might want to flip on, or somebody already done flipped the script is what I'm hearing. Yep, somebody done already flipped the script. So listen, somebody trying to get somebody, um, somebody trying to give you a warning. One of your ancestors trying to give you a warning, your spiritual team. Um, somebody is, is, is fucked up out here. You hear me? They fucked up out here and they fucked up out here because of what it is that they've been projecting onto you, you know? Um... Mm, and what they've been, it's it's like they've been, they plastic as hell. They so fake. You hear me? They so goddamn fake. This this person does stress you out. Somebody stress you out. If it ain't this person who's trying to come back, it's somebody that they dealing with. It's somebody that you dealing with too to stress you out. You know what I'm saying? They always talking about the same shit. They always talking about the same shit. And they, mm, it, you know, it's, it's a lot of energies uh, being sent in to stop you from this trip. To stop you from this trip. Somebody in love. Somebody in a new relationship. Somebody wants a new relationship with you. Yeah, somebody wants a new relationship with you, but somebody, you know, in a same sex relationship too. Somebody in the same sex relationship too is what the Jesus is saying. And it's it's something that's you know going on when it comes with this relationship because it's a secret. But um, mm, somebody is a reptile. Somebody a reptile. I'm also hearing too, man. When it comes to your intuition, when it comes to your intuition, you gonna have to say later for that. It's never for a lot right now because the spirit that's on these people is a Jezebel energy, and they had it attached to you. They had it attached to you, but that's being revealed. Um, something going on, you know, when it comes to your mom having some involvement, somebody's mother having some involvement in some new relationship, um, and a, a female cousin, um, yeah, and a female cousin, and I'm seeing this, one of my kings, one of my black kings, too, you know what I'm saying, it could be a male cousin, it's, some type of synchronicity that's going on in your life right now. And it's all a part of how you're feeling. It's all a part of your thoughts. So be careful what you speak and correct that negative thoughts. It's too much that's going on that got you thinking that you um, need to go back to somebody. Somebody is being, mm, somebody is, um, being found out. Yeah, somebody is being found out too. And it has a lot to do with this coffee time card. It has a lot to do with this coffee time card. Somebody is being found out to be an enemy. They're going through karma, too. Somebody about to go through karma, and they have been your enemy all along. They they, they are the person who've been sending these evil spirits. They're a drug addict. They've been hoping that you, you know, have some addictions, some sex addictions, too. They've been sending these incubus and succubus energies to you. They wanted you to be gay. Yeah, they wanted you to be gay. No no shade to, you know, my um homosexuals and my um lesbians who may listen to me. No shade to you, but they wanted somebody to be gay, you know, and somebody ain't gay, you know. Somebody secretly gay, though. That's coming out. It's friends. Friends. Friends are secretly gay, and it's coming out. They do one another. That's in your energy, too. That's in your energy, too. So, know that I don't care where it is that you go. You leave your mark. Kind of like a kind of like a dog. <laughs> somebody, somebody, um, somebody don't want to be a dog no more. Somebody was a dog towards you. Somebody was a dog towards you. They coming in this weekend. It could be Sunday. But this Sunday I'm hearing is when they're going to be talking about what's good. You going or not. 